Good night to everyone. Buenas noches a toda mi gente. Ilya, congratulations. I mean, uh, listen, you were confident all along. You predicted you'd be here. You said you'd be champion. But now that you're sitting there with the belt, you did what you just did. What's the emotion like for you right now? I feel amazing, man. I feel very thankful. And I just can't wait to leave this place and enjoy with the team and with my family. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine. We won't keep you here too long. Uh, Competitive opening round, right? I mean, obviously you had a lot of respect for him. All three judges actually gave him the opening round. What did you think about the first five minutes and, and how he was as an opponent versus what you expected to see? First of all, I don't need the judges. When I'm fighting, they they can go and, and take their time to break and rest a little bit. But yes, man, the, the guy was really fast, very, very fast jabs. His movements, I don't know, with his kicks, he surprised me a little bit. It, it, it took me a little bit of time to, to study him, and I had to knock him out in the second round. Yeah, it seemed you really gained confidence in the second round. Um, was it just figuring out his timing, his rhythm? Like, what changed that you gained that confidence, and did you know that right hand would be there to finish the fight? I was just waiting to, to find my timing, you know? He... he, 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 he yeah, I don't know how to say. Uh, me conecto algunos golpes. He caught me with with a couple of punches. He caught me with a couple of punches, and he was like celebrating, like ha ha ha. And I was like, now it's my turn. Wait for that. Wait for that. And the game plan since the first moment was to to to, to do a long combinations, not just a one two punches, not like combinations of three, four, five punches because it's. It's more difficult to read com uh, long combinations than just combination with two punches. So, yeah, we did a great jump. I become a world champion. I'm very happy and very thank thankful with God to give me all these moments to be able to live it. And I was able to enjoy it too during the whole week. So, very happy. He's really, really interested in a rematch. Whether it's next or not, maybe you fight somebody else first. But given how great he was as a champion, do you believe he deserves a rematch with you at some point? <laughs> so he's a, such a good person you know S uh, and to be honest uh, at this point I'm like okay I'm gonna give him the rematch because he's a good person but at the same time it's time to move on it's time to clean up a little bit the division you know it's time for the new generation to, to have a new challenges new faces and I think I, I, will, I will be looking for that but to be honest, my job is it's to fight. Whoever they're going to tell me I have to face and fight next, I will be there. So that's it. Last thing for me, undefeated champion. What's your goal as champion? You know, some people want to be champ champs, two divisions. Some want to, you know, have the most title defenses in UFC history. Like, what's your goal as UFC champion? I don't know. Right now, I don't know. My goal since the beginning was to become a UFC world champion. Now I have to go back home. I have to meditate to visualize what are going to be the next take, st the, the next steps that I'm going to take. But for sure, uh, I'm going to make some big steps. So, yeah. Really right here. Um, you, you just mentioned you know, you'll fight whoever, you're the champion now. Does that mean you've kind of changed your tune on Max Holloway and Yair Rodriguez and Brian Ortega? Max Holloway, no. All of them, they, they didn't make any sense for me right now. As I said, I need new challengers, new ones. So there are some upcoming fights. We'll see what how they're going to play out. And you're going to see El Matador for a while. So, um, You I mean, you mentioned all these people who have had their title shots already. The one person in that top five who hasn't is Movsar Vloyev. Yeah. And you guys have some history. You're supposed to fight, I think, here in Anaheim at one point. Um, is that a fight you want to revisit, undefeated versus undefeated? Look, Mozart is a... Uh, a good fight for me. I would love to fight him, but the guy has eight fights in the UFC, eight decisions, zero submissions, zero knockouts. From eight decisions, four split decisions, man, come on. He needs to finish someone. Maybe they, they can find so someone for him in, in, in his hometown. I don't know. Maybe he can fight with his dad or something like that and finish him. I don't know, but he needs to finish someone, you know? Because like the record he has right now, yeah, it's it seems nice. He's undefeated, but man, 
the guy didn't finish anyone. So he needs to do something. And just last thing on a rematch with Alex, um, I think a lot of people, given his work, think that would, would be deserved, but he just was knocked out twice in four months. Do you think it would be a bad idea for him to rush back? At, at this point, I think that's the fight in the division which makes more sense than uh, any fight, you know? So we'll see, we'll see. I don't know, I have, to, I have to sit down with my management team, with the UFC, and we'll see what, what, what the future is holding for me. Ely over here. It wasn't just a big night for Spain, but also a big night for Georgia. You and Murad picked up big wins today, so how does that feel for you in the Georgian community? It feels amazing. Let, 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 let me send a small message for all my Georgian fans. Champs Patara Sakartos, Minda Didi Madlova Gada Uhadu, Harda Cheris, Twis Hawatis, Champs Gordit Roda Kahart, Mikor Hart Kolani Gulshida, Erti Suli Makro, Chamo Videda, Knahot Kolani, Dairta Twise Imotes Gamarjub. Sí, la verdad que it, it means a lot to me. It means a lot to me. And I'm a lucky man to be able to represent such a great countries like Spain and Georgia. Awesome. And I know you just did what you just did to Volkanovski out there, but in a potential rematch, is there something you would approach differently or is it going out with that same attitude and just game plan for that one too? I don't know. If uh, if the UFC offers me to, to, to bring the UFC to Spain, and do the rematch with Volkanovski, I'm in. Let's go. Let's do it. No fucking problem. Algunas en español rapidito. Cuando hablamos la semana pasada, me mencionaste la importancia de la meditación. Para ti, ¿qué tan crucial fue la meditación esta semana antes de la pelea más grande de tu vida? Just for everybody, um, this week, uh, throughout the week, actually mentioned the importance of meditation. So how important was meditation for you throughout this week before this fight? El que no sabe hacia qué puerto navega, ningún viento es favorable, por lo que cada ser humano tendría que saber cuáles son sus objetivos. Y para saber cuáles son tus objetivos, necesitas meditar y verlo con claridad, necesitas visualizarlo. Entonces, es un ejercicio que yo lo hago siempre. Uh, when you don't know what port you're sailing to, you're lost, and you don't know where to go in any way, we'll, we'll, we'll do it. So it's very important for every human being to understand where they're going and to step a little bit and, and, and visualize and mentalize. So for me, this is what I did in meditation. Y de nuevo, estuvo aquí antes y mencionó que el Bernabéu sí es una posibilidad. Entonces, para ti, ¿cómo se oye sentir que ya estábamos cerquita para ver? Ya lo dijo. So Dana White mentioned when he was here that when asked about the Santiago Bernabéu that that would be a possibility. How do you feel about that? Bueno, tendremos que tomar un par de copas de whisky con él y convencerlo entonces. So we have to we have to have a couple of glasses of wine with him and uh, convince him about it. Y si te dan la pelea en el Bernabéu, ¿qué otras qué otras arenas o estadios quieres pelear en? Uh, if they don't, you said if you si le dan, no si le dan el Bernabéu. If you don't, if you, they, if you get the, uh, the the fight at Bernabéu, what other arenas would you like to fight at? El Bernabéu, yo me quedo con el Bernabéu. ¿Qué otras mencionó? Después de después del Bernabéu. Después del Bernabéu. Sí, escucha, eh, pudiendo pelear en el Bernabéu ya no hay otra, siempre Bernabéu. Uh, listen, if I can actually fight at the Bernabéu, I mean, there's no other. This would be great. Y cuál, finalmente, ¿cuál es el mensaje de todos los, los fanáticos hispanos que vieron tu pelea hoy? And a message for all, um, el all, mensaje all the fans. siempre de agradecimiento que le agradezco a todo el mundo por el apoyo constante que me dan y, y que quiero servirle de, de ejemplo, de motivación y de inspiración a, a todos los jóvenes que, que me han mirado, que da igual de dónde vengas, si sabes hacia dónde vas, Es mucho más importante lo que tenemos enfrente que lo que dejamos atrás. Solo uno tiene que confiar en sí mismo, confiar en Dios, tener fe y todo es posible en esta vida. Todos tenemos un, un propósito. Solamente hay que confiar y creer y trabajar por ello. Uh, of gratitude and thank you for the motivation and inspiration that you've been, uh, that you've, you've gone for me. So uh, it's a message for all of you. It doesn't matter where you're from. It really matters where you're going. And it doesn't matter um, what you've been through in your life. It, this is, all of us have a purpose. And uh, you have to believe in yourself and keep going, doing the work. Gracias, Ilya. Hey, Ilya, I just have one question. You mentioned having wine with Dana. Would that be Georgian wine or Spanish wine? Both of them. <laughs> both of them. For sure, we're going to have time to taste both of them. Thank you. <laughs> Ilya, speaking with some of the Spanish media, they mentioned that you've actually had some difficulty obtaining uh, legal paperwork for citizenship in Spain. I'm curious how bringing a UFC belt and potentially an event that generates millions of I dollars. I don't know who told you that, but I didn't, I didn't have any difficulties with that. 
Okay, I must have misunderstood. No worries. Lidia, por aquí. Bueno, lo primero, felicidades por esa espectacular victoria. Dana White le he preguntado y ha dicho que definitivamente van a venir a España, van a acudir hasta España. Si de ti dependiera, ¿qué fecha te gustaría a ti? ¿Qué fecha manejarías para hacer una defensa del cinturón en España? First of all, um, congratulations on the win. Uh, obviously, it was mentioned that the UFC will go to Spain. Uh, for, depending on you, what would be the date for a card in Spain? Hombre, acabo de salir de una pelea. Déjame descansar un poquito. No tengo ni idea cuándo quiero volver a pelear. Lo único que quiero ahora mismo es tomarme un par de tragos, disfrutar con mi familia, con mis amigos. Y lo que, lo último que quiero es pensar en la pelea. Dude, I just finished a fight. I have no idea where I'm going to fight again. All I want is have some drinks with people, have enjoy with my family, and I have, I, I, then I'll have some time to think about the next fight. Quería también ir a preguntarte acerca del combate en el primer asalto. Hemos visto un Volkanovski siguiendo bastante la estrategia de, de la movilidad, de tomar la distancia. Eh, ¿Cuál era tu game plan realmente? Habías dicho que querías noquearlo en el primer asalto. ¿Esa era la intención o sí que querías ir poco a poco ordenando tu striking para acabar noqueando? Vámonos. Eh, la verdad que yo como querer así presionarlo para noquearlo en el primer asalto no era algo que estaba en mi mente. Yo solamente pensaba y creía que lo, lo, lo podía hacer en el primer asalto. Y la verdad que nunca me gusta ponerme esa presión extra, ¿no? Pero cuando me preguntan, yo digo la verdad que es lo que pienso y lo que, lo que siento, ¿no? Um, actually wanting to go after him and pressure him the first round, that wasn't my intention. I just said, listen, I would like to be able to, like, that's what I want to do. Uh, everybody, when they ask me the question, I say, this is what I want to do. That's my desire, but that's not exactly what I'm going to do. Ilya, ¿crees que esta victoria tan dominante, tan noqueadora contra Volkanovski, que no haya perdido en toda su historia en la división ¿no? de, del peso pluma de UFC, te convierte directamente ya en una superestrella? Uh, do you think that a, such a dominant win against a Volkanovski that has never lost like that in the division, does that make you automatically into a superstar? No lo sé, la verdad. No sé si me convierte en una superestrella o no. Yo para mí siempre he sido una superestrella desde el día uno. Siempre he creído en mí, siempre he tenido las mayores expectativas sobre mí, así que para los demás lo que soy o lo que dejo de ser no es algo que me importa a mí, lo que me importa es la opinión propia y la de mi familia y, y seres cercanos, ¿no? I don't know if that makes into a superstar or not, but I can tell you I've always thought of myself as a superstar since day number one. I've always believed in myself and the, the opinions of others, it doesn't matter on this. It matters between what I believe in myself and the opinions of my family and those who are close to me. Y para terminar, las redes sociales están que echan fuego ahora mismo, Ilya. Eh, me están llegando muchísimos mensajes desde España y hay mucha gente preguntándome lo mismo. ¿Qué celebración va a haber? ¿Qué tenéis pensado hacer? No sé si iréis a Madrid, iréis a Alicante, cuéntanos un poco. And uh, one final question, the social media is on fire, everybody's asking, what's the celebration going to be like? You're going to Madrid, you're going to Alicante, where are you going? Pues ahora mismo de aquí nos iremos a Beverly Hills y me pienso poner a tope con mi papá, con el papá Giorgio, con Agustinho, con Jorge, con todos, me pienso poner a tope. Así que déjenme ir, por favor. I'm good. And right now we're actually going to Beverly Hills. We're going to Beverly Hills and everybody's going to get drunk. Acá my eso father, que tienes everybody. escondido. We're, we're, gonna, we're gonna get drunk. We're gonna turn up. Ilia por aquí. Gracias. Ilia. Es que tengo mis anuncios entre medio, Ahí está. perdón. Ilia, hablando precisamente de ellos, ¿cuán importante tú crees que es, no solo para ti ya de la grandeza como campeón, sino un gimnasio en España, en Alicante, de dos argentinos, los hermanos Climent, a ser a un campeón del mundo del UFC ante una leyenda? ¿Cuán importante tú crees que es eso? En este momento. And how important, actually listening to all of them, how important it is to be, you know, having these people behind you, a gym, two Argentine brothers from Alicante, um, and, and being with them throughout this journey. 
Pues otra prueba más y otro ejemplo más para los jóvenes que creen que necesitan un gimnasio de la hostia y unos sacos y unas instalaciones. Mira, nosotros somos el claro ejemplo de que si tú tienes una visión, da igual las condiciones que tengas, puedes convertir y hacer tu sueño realidad, ¿sabes? Que nosotros hemos creído en nosotros mismos, hemos trabajado súper duro con lo que hemos tenido, hemos remado, no nos han regalado nada y... Aquí hemos llegado hasta aquí. Aquí tenemos en la mesa un this trocito is, de oro. This is another example of what, what, I, what I said. Uh, you know, it doesn't matter where you're from. It doesn't matter what happens. It doesn't matter. It, it, when you actually would say for, for, for the youth out there, you need to have a badass gym with, with the, the, the best equipment ever. No, we're the proof that we did our work. Uh, we, 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 we really struggled. We, we, we put in the work to get where we are and look at where we are right now. We have a belt. Y una más. Eh, hace poco acabas de ganar a ser de campeón del mundo del UFC. ¿Tú entiendes lo que tú has logrado, lo que significa ser campeón mundial del UFC, que tan pocos lo logran y tantos lo intentan? ¿Tú entiendes lo que, lo que es eso, Ilya? And a final question. You have just become a UFC champion. I understand this, but do you understand what it means now? Do you no are tengo ni idea. ¿Me lo explicas? Ser el mejor en tu división y ganarle a una leyenda, ¿no? Bueno, vámonos, ahí estamos. Entonces. Ahí está. I have, I have <laughs> no idea. Vámonos. I have no idea. Can you explain it to me? Listen, it's winning a championship belt por uh, against a legend. Que estoy consciente. He trabajado durísimo por este momento, es lo que te digo. Pero el propósito mío en esta vida es, es muy grande. Yo tengo un mensaje muy grande para darle a, a toda la nueva generación. Y en, en eso voy a poner... Las manos, no. I, I've, I've put in a lot of hard work and I do have a lot of work ahead of me for the new generations. That's what I want. I have a good, big purpose in my life and that's what I'm going to put my, my effort on. Ilya. <laughs> Ilya, over here. Um, you've been calling out Conor McGregor. Dana White said very unlikely Conor fights at 145, if he even fights again. Because and of all who said fight. that I, I want to fight him at 145? Where, where do you want to fight him? Without any weight limit. There is no weight if I fight him. He can choose it. Ooh. I give him that, that option. If he feels that he's ready for this level of competition, he can choose the weight. Ah, thank you. And also... I choose the place. <laughs> 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 also, uh, after you... You swiped the belt from old man Volkanovsky Thursday at the press conference. How does it feel to know that's actually yours? It feels amazing, man. It feels, it feels great. I can't even explain it. You have to live it. Felicidades. Gracias. Muchísimas gracias. Te lo agradezco. Ilya, has pedido a Conor McGregor después de proclamarte campeón. ¿Por qué quieres a enfrentarte a él? And follow up on Conor McGregor. You have asked for Conor McGregor after being a champion. Why Conor McGregor? Porque como que Conor representa el, el último capítulo de las MMAs, ¿no? Entonces, para cerrar ya el capítulo y dejarlo en el olvido, es la pelea que yo veo en mi mente, ¿no? Porque Conor representa el último capítulo en MMA. Así que, en honor de que se go through that last chapter and leave him behind and forgotten, that's it. That's what I need to go. Genial, pues muchas gracias y muchas felicidades. Muchísimas gracias. Muchísimas gracias. Thank you very much to everyone.